Today is the day my limited edition U2's figure and Kiwi plush are available right now. And when I say limited edition, I mean they're only making a limited amount of these. So make sure you get them before they're gone. So yeah, if you want these little guys, just click the link in the description and go grab them. Thank you so much. Okay, folks. So I've been in the merch game for a while, okay? I think I put out my first piece of merch in like 2015. Uh, it was when I had like 100,000 followers on Vine and I was like, surely that's enough uh, for people to have a shirt of me. So I put out uh, some merch. I remember there was this one, the shirtest Connor that I was really excited about. And I think all in all, I made like a couple hundred bucks, which was huge. Obviously I was just getting out of college. I was like serving at a bar. So that was like, it was really nice to just like have that, you know? And at that time, like that was the only way I could make money from like my comedy, right? Cause like I was doing stand up several times a week, but I was not getting paid for it. And I wasn't making any money from Vine because they didn't even have any money to give anybody. So I learned like pretty early on in my content creation uh, journey that merch can be a really good way to uh, support yourself. And it also gives the people who support you something like tangible. And as the years went on, I, I put out merch like here and there, but it wasn't until like my YouTube channel sort of uh, took off that I regularly put out like merch drops. And I'm super proud of the stuff that I've put out over the last few years. I've been able to work with incredible artists like Brandon Lapine and Kel Lauren and many others. And I've been able to do fun like one-offs like trading cards and even now with YouTube. It's like, it's really cool uh, that I can make stuff that people want to wear and it's like a cool way to support me and stuff. And like getting tagged in pictures of like people wearing my merch just like to school and like to concerts and shit. Like it's just so fucking cool. But enough of the sappy stuff. Jesus Christ. I've been holding back puke this whole time time man enough of that sap enough of that tree come that's what sap is where there is merch there is always knockoff merch like you know when you go to a jonas brothers concert and there's like some 65 year old guy selling joe bros merch outside of the venue for like 10 bucks and you know he doesn't know who the jonas brothers are jonas boys merch only ten dollars come get your there's knockoff merch everywhere and yeah Sure, maybe you could get a piece of merch uh, of your favorite artist for a little cheaper than, you know, you usually could if you go that route. But the shirt you get, it usually feels like a literal pool tarp because it's made so poorly. And it also doesn't support the artist that you like. So it's a lose-lose, an LL. Not cool, Jay. And there is one website in particular that is making it very easy for knockoff merch to thrive on the internet. And that website is Redbubble. Real quick, fuck Redbubble. Fuck you guys. You guys can suck on my balls. Wait, and you can put that on a shirt. Don't. <laughs> they, fuck, they fucking probably will. Please don't, okay? I know Drew and Eddie uh, like touched on Redbubble a bit in a video that they made a while back, but I am uh, I, I also want to touch on it. So Redbubble is a website where you can upload just any design you want onto a wide variety of merchandise like uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts, all the way to like shower curtains and notebooks like they cover it all they print it for you they ship it out and everything so you can just collect a little bit of money from that transaction because it's your art that you're selling right obviously with a website like that uh it is very easy for people to just upload artwork or a photo that is not theirs and still make money off of it which is not allowed and as far as i'm concerned they do not give a shit about copyright infringement at all and it sucks for like small artists especially because like if their art is on the website the, most, the only thing they can do is like email Redbubble and just fucking hope that they take it down. And if they don't, they're kind of shit out of luck because they don't have their own <laughs> lawyer to like draft up and send a cease and desist on their behalf. And before we go any further, uh, I just want to say this because I can already imagine the comments. This isn't me being like, I don't make enough money from my merch. Come on, Red Bubby. I, I'm fine, okay? The people who support me, they will get merch from my website. And if stuff is sold out, they'll wait till it's restocked, like a, a normal person. I just want to start a conversation because there are creators out there, small artists and stuff, who rely on their art and their merchandise to, like, live, you know? But just a quick search of my name on Redbubble pulls up... Dude, 840 results. I will say a lot of it is like fan made uh, or like stickers of like screenshots from my video. I guess this is a good time to bring up this topic. If somebody makes like a unique piece of art based on me or something like they draw me or something or like something I said, they like rework it into something else. Like I, I don't fucking care about that, obviously. Like it's it's an artist like interpreting it, changing it, like transforming it, um, making something new. And that's great. I'm not, I would be a, such an asshole <laughs> if I was like, take that down, 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 give me the money. You know, that's fucked up. But the shit that really bugs me is this. Look at this shit. 
Just straight up stealing. Thanks, Chip Chrome. <laughs> so this design for my podcast was done by Brandon Lapine, who's a very talented artist who's like now become like a friend of ours. I remember I reached out to him like a few years ago and I was like, hey, I want you to do the artwork for my podcast, okay? I want it to be like kind of scribbly, weird, like all over the place because that's how the podcast is kind of. And he was like sick and he worked on it really hard. It was perfect. I loved it. So I, I paid him. I, I paid him for his work. I spent a bunch of money on like the, the blanks to like print and stuff. And then a bunch of other people worked really hard to like print the designs on the shirts and ship them out and everything. Like it was a whole process with like a team of people and fucking Chip Chrome was like, this is mine now. And Redbubble allows this shit to happen all the time. And it's fucking so frustrating because on the website, they they like brand themselves as like, we love artists. We love them so much. We just want to kiss the top of their heads. And they also say on their website that they don't condone uploading stolen artwork so the fact that they say that allows them to be like well, we didn't know <laughs> we didn't know sorry we don't like when people do that what i'm saying is like it doesn't make it okay just because you have plausible deniability and yes i did learn that term from max keeble's big move plausible deniability shut up and this shit happens all over their dumb fucking website like Here's another one. Curtis Connor merch, please be nice to me. Classic t-shirt. That's the fucked up thing, man. It's like, it's clearly like a bot or some fucking company or something. Cause it's like Curtis Connor merch. They're doing that for SEO purposes. So when someone searches Curtis Connor merch, this shit pops up and someone's gonna be like, oh, this is what this is. It says Curtis Connor merch right there. So this design was done by talented artist and friend Kel Lauren. And they fucking crushed it, obviously, because they're super talented <laughs> and like, amazing at what they do and they had like a whole cohesive vision for it and like specific colorways so it would look the best it possibly could and then this fucking person just stole it and put it on Redbubble. and also it just lets you pick whatever color to put it on and some of these look so ugly look at this orange one <laughs> you can't even fucking see it and also dude this is only half of the merch there's like a whole design on the back and on the sleeves but there you can't do that because this is a fucking t-shirt it's like 30 bucks for half of the shirt that you could get i guess i'll fuck i'm gonna start doing that from now on i guess i'm gonna start selling half shirts it's like a crop top no you know like those are half shirts but it's gonna be halved like that way <laughs> so it's only the front part no back get ready for a cold back this year guys okay sorry if you like my merch you're gonna have a cold back cold backs 2022 and dude like i said i'm all for people uh like making original art and selling it like on their Etsy or something. Like I've seen some cute stuff, drawings of me, stickers of me on Etsy that artists make themselves. They pack it and they're like in control of like the quality and stuff. Like that's fine. I don't give a fuck about that. But Redbubble makes it so easy for people to just blatantly steal artwork and have no repercussions. And a lot of the time, dude, even the original artwork fucking sucks. Look at this one. What the hell is this? <laughs> I'm gonna read the reviews here because it says it's five stars. Sleek, sexy, and flattering. Beautiful stretch fabric. Use it as part of a DIY costume. I can wear the skirt for any occasion. <laughs> love, the, love the quality. Love the bag that read, this is your new thing. Made my granddaughter smile. And me too. Nice touch. This is about a skirt. He just loved the bag that said, this is your new thing so much that he's going on other products and reviewing it. Guys, fuck this skirt. You gotta get that bag that says, this is your new thing. Okay, so this is in the, this is just reviews of the skirt that it's printed on. It's not of this design, obviously, because you can't wear this uh, on any occasion, right? This looks like a dog like pooped on a skirt, but instead of like cleaning the skirt, you just rode on top of the poop. Please be nice to me. My dog just fucking shit on my skirt. Maybe I'm being a little mean. I apologize. Art is subjective. I just wish I wasn't subjected to this because this is just a poop skirt. Oh, poop skirt. Skirt. skirt simple as that like dude could you imagine if i put this out as merch i'd be fucking executed i would be burned at the stake i think and another thing that's super frustrating about redbubble i know this is just the website tracking what people search and uh, what they click on but when you search my name on redbubble uh it shows like suggested searches below the search bar and big surprise you just have other youtubers uh, that like share my audience. You got like Danny, Eddie, like people who actually give a fuck about the products that they put out for their audience. And there's people stealing their shit too and making weird knockoff shitty versions of it as well. It's literally the website being like, hey, if you like these stolen designs, <laughs> You're gonna love these other ones. Obviously, I know this is like almost impossible to police with a website this big with this many products and designs, but like don't fucking pride yourself as a company that's for artists when half of your shit is literally stolen art, you know? That's like if BP came out and they were like, we're like for the earth, we love the earth. No, you don't. You waterboard ducks with oil literally every week. But like I said before, 
frustrating part about knockoff merch is that it's a shitty quality, right? And it's like, oh, dude, it sucks too. Cause like if someone, if you got knockoff merch and then you were talking to your friend and like, oh, is that Curtis Connor merch? And you're like, yeah. And then they touch it and it feels like literal fucking sandpaper. And they're like, oh, that guy sucks. He made shitty merch. He just ended for the money. It fucks everybody over. The material, like, material girl. The material is shitty, obviously, from Redbubble. It has to be shitty. But how shitty is it? How shitty are their products? There's only one way to find out, and I have to admit, I, uh, I did something bad, okay? I was curious about what this merch felt like and looked like in person, so I ordered some, okay? I know. I know I'm not proud of it either, okay? But it's my fucking knockoff merch, okay? If anybody is allowed to get it, it's me. I'm not proud of it, okay? I, I feel like I feel like shit. I feel like a shit stain on a skirt. I do. But I'm doing this for the greater good and for me. This is pretty much a big ad for my for my merch. But I'm just trying to show that buying knockoff merch of your favorite creators is bad for everybody involved. I do feel bad that I gave money to Redbubble though, so I will say this. Do not buy from Redbubble, okay? They suck and they kind of stink. They smell really bad. Okay, so that'll probably deter some future customers. So it's all good. We balanced it out. So let's go see what I bought. Haul, haul time. Uh. Okay, what's up guys? I honestly forgot what I ordered because I've been trying to do this video for a while. I wanted to put it out like last year, uh, but I, I, I didn't have time. Also, the sun is shining right on my legs and my legs are getting really warm. Hot legs, cold back. Okay, before we get into the Redbubble stuff, I wanna show you some merch, some Curtis Connor merch that I found on Amazon. Hold on, let me clip this thing on here. Does that look weird? Yeah, it does, but whatever. Apparently, uh, Amazon just put my face on, like, uh, like pictures of me on shirts. I don't know what language this is. I don't know where it was printed, but Oh, oh God. The material is God awful. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but it, I don't know how to describe it. It sort of feels like if Under Armour made a hoodie, like it's very like plasticky kind of. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Dude. For so, okay, for some reason I thought I had like had a feeling of the back because the front has my front face on it, right? I thought the back would also ha just have my back, but also, I don't have a picture from this photo shoot of my back. So imagine if they did, if <laughs> if they somehow had a photo of my back. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on. Nice. So since the bottom of the shirt is black and like a torso, since I'm wearing black pants, it'll kind of look like just it'll look like me. So I'm gonna lower the camera a bit. Hold on. <laughs> Hey look, it's Curtis! It's a good old pal Curtis! He's doing a jig! He's dancing! Look at him go! Okay, so uh, I'm gonna give the Amazon merch like a, probably a fucking like, two out of ten. It would be one, but it's two because of the silly dance that I did, so. Two out of ten. Okay, uh, now it is red bubble time. Okay, so I just ripped this out of the, uh, the red bubble bag. I remember what I got now. This is a drawstring bag with, uh, a picture of myself. Hold on. Looks pretty good. Also the tough, the shitty part about having like faces on merch is like, uh, if you like move a little, like the whole thing gets distorted. I look like a fucking Harry Potter PS1 character, dude. As soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hut to give you a big congratulate. Okay, I'm gonna put something in this bag. I'm trying to, with all the things that I got from Red Bull, Redbubble, I'm trying to make like a full fit. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stuff this with some stuff so it just gets big and puffy, you know? All right, next one. So this is a this is a face mask. Uh, it's me and little me on there. And just by looking at the, the fabric, I don't think it's this stops COVID. <laughs> this does not look like it stops any germs from coming in. It is, dude, it is so thin and weird. And it's for babies too, because it is so little. Do you think darkness is your ally? Are you merely adopted the dark? God, it's, okay, Ugh, fucking smells, dude. Oh, why does it stink? What did I say? Roll the clip. They suck and they kind of stink. They smell really bad. And I was just lying before. Now it's now it's the truth, dude. Oh, now I get it. This is your new thing. I thought the person bought a bag that said, this is your new thing. This is the worst feeling fabric I've ever felt in my life. This is a shirt, I think. <laughs> Dude, okay. This is a fucking Sephora uniform, I think. You know those shirts that they wear at Sephora? And it's too small, I can already tell. But uh, this is a, and it feels just like the shitty one from Amazon. And uh, we got one more thing here. I, I uh... Dude, I wish I checked what I ordered because I totally forget. Here we go. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? Is this a scarf? 
think it's a scarf. If it is a scarf, this is the thinnest material because you can fucking see myself through it. That's a, that's a sleigh for sure. Slay what you need to slay. All right, this fit is gonna be atrocious. <laughs> okay, and I think this is the last one. Let's see what we got. Bruh. Oh, it's a skirt. Okay. Uh, it says, you know, I had to do it to him. I thought, okay, I thought these were shorts. I guess I ordered myself a skirt. Fuck. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put this whole fit on and then uh, just hold tight for the reveal. Hey y'all. So yeah, this is probably the worst outfit in the world. As you can see, I got my uh, Sephora shirt on, my fucking skirt, socks. Yeah, I got my scarf up here. You can't really tell because it's such a small graphic on it. You can't even see like where I'm at. Like where is the little fucking thing? Yeah, this is me. This is a little graphic of me. You can't even see it. Major bag alert. Major bag. And then last but not least, if I want to uh, get COVID, I can wear this mask. Cause I feel like this attracts COVID. I feel like it doesn't protect you. I feel like it's like, it's like pheromones for COVID. It's like, come on, spike proteins, get in here. So yeah, I look fucking insane. <laughs> I feel like you would cross the street for sure if I was walking your way. But yeah, this is just goes to show like it's not, people shouldn't just have the ability to upload any design and <laughs> you know, this looks like dog shit. <laughs> this looks so bad. Okay, so looks overall, it's a fucking picture of me. Like it's not like a cool graphic, right? So I'm doing one out of 10. For overall quality, uh, I would go like fucking zero out of 10. It is I'm so thin. It is so thin. Like he, all the material is so shit. Like it all feels like Under Armour. So I don't know if that's intentional or not, but uh, it is a nightmare. All right, uh, back to me in normal clothes. So what did we learn today? Uh, we learned that Redbubble sucks. Uh, Amazon uh, merch sucks. We also learned that, you know, uh, boys in skirts, that's all good, but a boy in that skirt, not good. I wanna say like, I know my merch and other YouTubers merch can be a little pricey sometimes, but that's only because like, I try really hard to put out good stuff and like a like talented artists and, and like buy the best like blanks and stuff. So it's just gonna be more expensive. To, to, to sell, you know? So I understand why like the knockoff stuff can be appealing to people because like that's what they can afford, right? And I can't stop people from doing that. I can send as many emails as I want or as many cease and desist as, as I want, but like it's gonna happen, okay? And it's just have to, you just have to roll with it, right? But I think companies can like try to do a little better, right? Like Redbubble, you could totally make it so it's like not so easy. If you're for artists, you should put the artists first. You should vet your artists, right? You should You should take pride in the artists that you do have on your uh, on your platform, right? For example, Inkbox, the company that I used to work for and now that I, I like promote on my channel sometimes, they have like a whole department focused on their artists to make sure their artists are happy and stuff. Uh, when an artist applies to be an artist, they like vet them and shit. Like, I'm not trying to suck their dick, but I'm saying like, that's how you do it, right? Like that's, that's the way to do it, right? Like actually give a fuck about the art and the artist and taking care of them. I don't know, in conclusion, Redbubble sucks and it's actually stinky, it is, it fucking reeks. So don't get it. Making it stinky. If you want to buy my merch or any YouTuber merch, you know, just try to support them. But if not, fucking, I'm not going to fucking tell you what to do. Okay, that's it. Press the like button if you enjoy the video, uh, because believe it or not, one like actually equals one shit stained skirt that I will scrub clean. Uh, you can leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've ever seen any weird knockoff merch or anything, or if you ever bought knockoff merch. I don't know. Just let, let's, let's talk about it. Press the subscribe button. And as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtis Town. If you didn't know, Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world. And I'm the mayor of Curtis Town. So you have to be nice to me. It's the law. Check out my U2s, okay? Check the description. Press the button. Grab my U2s figure and, my, and the Kiwi plush. Like I said, only a limited amount. So fucking get them before they're gone, dude. Also in the description, you can check my Instagram, Twitter, my podcast, Twitch, gaming channel channel, all that shit. Okay, that's it. I would stick around, but unfortunately I have to burn all of this awful, awful clothing. See ya.